Hi, and welcome to another episode of How the Fuck Am I Not Fat Yet? I've been devouring cakes for a few weeks now, and, and I don't show any signs of stopping the signs. I changed the scenery here today. By the way, I'm, I'm reviewing a muffin. Muffin. <laughs> Look at this, call it a muffin. It's a bit of a stretch. Mm, forgot what I said before, so I suppose let's just move on to this shit. The muffin. Today I went to a bakery called St. Peter's with a D. It's Danish and let's let me not try and fucking translate shit. Basically it's St. Peter, right? That's a, a bakery which I, I looked up and they claimed to have, or they had very good reviews. So I thought, okay, well, obviously that's my next destination. Now, I got the muffin because I didn't know what to, what to pick up there. They had a lot of different things, different cakes, some of which I reviewed before. And I thought, hey, I better try something new. Now, I asked for the muffin, and, and the first thing that happens is she grabs it, and then <coughs> she squeezes it, and one side of it just caves in, and I felt, you know, without saying anything, I felt my heart contract and go, <coughs> it hurt to look at, because I knew at that point it was too late. And she didn't even give it in a box, just chucked it in a bag. Ah, yes, let me present this thing that that should be beautiful. But honestly, it looks very good, right? It's got a, a nice crispy look to it. It's coated in sugar and it's got some lemon curd inside. And I should have brought a knife. I'm fucking retarded here. It has been the reason I'm not in the kitchen and that was what I wanted to say before. I just wanted to change in scenery. Sometimes, you just want to fucking sit on your bed and, and eat something that is going to to end up everywhere and, and sometimes you just want that to be your bed, you know. I'm I'm right now looking at the street, looking at cars and buses and people going by, minding their own business, and that's rather enjoyable. My hands are already fucked, sugar all over them. I'm thinking I'm you know, I can't go into this with the mindset of, ah, oh, this is a muffin, because it's clearly not. It looks more like a croissant that that's wrapped around some lemon curd. But let's give it a give it a shot here, see what they have to offer. It smells pretty good, but it smells of Somehow, well, it smells of butter, but somehow it <laughs> reminds me of an old person's home. And I, I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Fuck it, let's, uh, let's dig in here. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Okay. Damn, son. Fuck me. This is bizarre. You know, you know when you bite into something and you expect it to taste of, of something you have some sort of expectation and you you know you that's what you go off of you you sort of work out what it's supposed to taste like before you taste it and then you bite it and it's completely different i for one thought the outer layer would be dry which it isn't it's nice and soft and it's a nice consistency of, of pastry then there's the lemon curd which tastes of lemon, obviously it's supposed to, but then it also tastes of something else as an aftertaste. Not bitter, but just 
a little funky. Going to have another bite here. Yeah, there's definitely some some level of funk added to this. <clears throat> Damn. All right, but you know now that it's toppled and and it looks crippled, I guess it's time for me to to talk about it. You know, try and try and process what the fuck I just I just swallowed. The the outer layers, the the pastry itself, is nice and it's not dry. It it's flaky and it has a good texture you can taste there's butter in there but honestly the flavor of the pastry is lacking slightly don't get me wrong it's it's good it's better than the standard because it's not soft it's soft where it has to be so the the consistency of, of it is good mm. But, but the flavor, it could be more buttery, that would benefit it immensely, actually. More like a croissant. I realize that's slabbered in, in butter and that's the point. Doesn't have to be that much, but just, mm, it could, it would do very well with just a, a little more of a kick in that regard. The curd. <laughs> very lemony. But not, it's probably from fresh lemons, if I were to guess. But, but here, I'm not, I don't know, it's sour, man. It's, obviously, it's acidic, I get it, a little sour. And then, it's also kind of funky toward the end. So yes, it's, it's nice, and I sort of enjoy it. But at the same time, it's a little too much, a little preposterous, actually. If you're into sour things, my the camera is tr trying to tell me something. Fuck that. It's a little, you know, it's a little too sour. If you're very into that, I think you'll be just fine, and you'll probably enjoy it. As for the the whole experience, I could. I could do without it. Maybe it's just a personal preference sort of thing. I don't have to eat this again. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, I, I can say I've had that and it wasn't bad. It's pretty all right. The ingredients are, are fair. It's just a little bit of a little bit out there. And also to call this a muffin is okay. Come on, guys. Final rating. 6.8, it's, it's quite all right. I, I don't have any major complaints. It's just not, you know, it could be better and it could be quite a bit better. So I feel 6.8 is a, is a nice, it's a nice spot. It's a, it's a good rating for it. Mm, definitely you can get worse. Fuck me, you can get worse. It's also a pricey cake. I I try to because I hate eating stuff that's bad, so I try to you know, I, I'll pay for for it and it's also I don't know, six dollars ish. Don't know exactly. But you know, so it's not a cheap cake or anything. Not a cheap pastry. So I do expect it to be to be of some standard. Yeah. Wouldn't Necessarily recommended, but if you're into sour things, you know, it's go for it Won't hurt you. See you. See you next time